Nexmosphere has several interfaces which allow you to work with third-party devices and components. The X.io offers the ability to connect generic input and output or I.O. devices. In this video, we'll explain how the X.io works and show you several use cases. An I.O. device is any input or output device which can be set to two different states, on or off, or in technical terms, high or low. The most common example of a generic input device is a push button, which can be pressed or released. Before showing some application examples, let's first look at the x.io element itself. The product is fitted in a small casing and offers three click-in wire connections. Ground or minus, supply or plus, and input. To connect an input device such as a push button to the x.io, one wire needs to be inserted into the supply connector and the other goes into the input connector. The x.io is fitted with an xtalk cable that connects to any of our experience controllers. Both a button press as well as a button release trigger an API message generated by the experience controller. This message is automatically sent to the connected media player and can be used to, for example, trigger new content or change connected LED strip behavior. Push buttons are available in many form factors and almost all of them are compatible with the x.io. Next to buttons, there are many other types of generic input devices available that can be connected to the x.io. Some examples are pressure mats that send triggers as soon as somebody steps on them. They can, for example, be placed under a doormat or the flooring of a specific area within a larger space. Switches can be used to toggle between two different states. You could apply these to offer a second presentation or content file on the same installation. Key locks can be used to activate or deactivate an alarm or to switch to a secure mode. All these generic input devices require the same connection to the x.io as the example we showed with the push button. One wire goes into the supply connection and the other to the input connection. Next to generic input devices, the x.io can also control generic output devices, such as small LEDs. A very common use case is to control the LED of a button. To do this, the ground pin of the LED is inserted into the ground connector and the supply pin is inserted into the plus connector. Next to simply switching the LED on or off, the x.io offers additional LED control to smoothly dim the LED up and down and set it to any blinking speed. Another example of a generic output device is a relay switch that can be used to switch any corded electronic device on or off. The minus and plus pins of the relay inputs are to be connected to the minus and plus connectors on the x.io. The output pins of the relay need to be connected in line with one of the AC wires. By sending commands from the connected media player to the experience controller, you can switch the AC device on or off. The x.io is available in a 3.3 volt model and a 5 volt model. When using generic output devices, make sure the voltage level matches the x.io model accordingly. As with all our sensors, the x.io can be combined with any other Nexmosphere element. You could, for example, combine a pickup sensor with an x.io to switch on a hairdryer when it gets picked up. If you'd like to know more about the x.io, please send an email to applications at nexmosphere.com. Thank you.